Good day, brethren. My name is Evan Henry. I serve as the Tutorial National Day for Prayer Coordinator for the Virgin Islands. We're truly thanking God for many prayers he has answered throughout the year that has passed and gone. We have much to be grateful for because God is good. Because he's good, we are trusting in him. As this year, we are faced with the virus. We are still thanking God for carrying us or taking us through, even in the Virgin Islands. We are thanking God for answer to prayers. May we continue to pray and trust in the Lord, as the word says, trust in the Lord with all our heart. And we must not lean on to our own understanding, but it says in all our ways we must acknowledge him and he will direct our path. Brothers, continue to pray. God is able to do more than we think or we can ask. The verse says, If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves, seek his face, and turn from our wicked ways, he promised that he would forgive us. And with that, he promised he will heal our land. Our land stands in need of healing. The entire world, our, the states and territory, our needs healing. We're thanking him even for the Virgin Islands with all that is going on. To compare with other parts of the world, we count ourselves privileged and let us continue to pray. With this virus that is going along, God is able. Let us continue to serve him in spirit and in truth. And as this year we may not be able to assemble in a cathedral, but wherever we, or whatever form, the Lord is able, he answers prayer. And so brethren, let us be faithful, because his word says, if we be faithful unto death, he will promise us a crown of life. Let us lift our heads in praise and adoration, because he's good, and because of that, his mercy is beautiful. Thank you, brethren, for your praise and continue to pray for us. That though I serve as the Territorial National Day of Prayer Coordinator, though I'm in a different part of the world, God answers prayer. There is no distance in prayer. So let us lift up our heads as the psalm says, O ye gates, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. Pray for us as we do the same for you. God bless. We lift up your name. We magnify your name, O God, because you are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to receive glory. You are worthy to receive praise. You are worthy to receive honor. All power belongs to you. All power originates with you, O God. You are the creator of the universe. You are the most high God. You are the awesome God, the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last, the one who was and the one who is to come, O God. We worship you today, the possessor of heaven and earth, O God. You are the great I am, the everlasting Father, the King of glory hallelujah hallelujah to you father hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord glory be to god glory be to god in the highest glory be to jesus our savior our redeemer our lord our master our soon coming king our sustainer, our upholder, our healer, and our deliverer. Holy Spirit, you are our comforter. You are our comforter. You are our teacher. You are our guide. Console our hearts. Comfort our hearts as we look to you in prayer, as we exalt the name of Jesus, as we lift up the name of Jesus. What a lovely name, the name of Jesus. There is no other name given under heaven whereby men must be saved, but only by the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks today, O God, 
for St. Thomas, oh God, I cover the territory in the name of Jesus. We cover the entire Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, St. Croix, St. John's, and Water Island. We cover these islands under the blood of Jesus, and we decree and we declare, no evil shall befall us here. No evil shall befall us, and no plague shall come nigh our dwelling place. For your angels have been given charge over us, O God. We thank you because you are able to keep us unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us blameless. Hallelujah. We thank you, O God, that we are confident that what you have started in us, O God, you are well able to complete it. For you are well able God you are the able God our God is our source you are the source of life oh God you are our very life oh God and by you all things consist hallelujah you are before all things and for your pleasure were all things created oh God you are worthy and so we exalt you in this time oh God of this coronavirus Lord we know that you are in control you are the one who goes before us you are the one who goes ahead of us oh god and your word declares when you see the blood you will pass over us so we thank you and we praise you oh god that your eyes are upon us even as your eyes are upon the sparrow oh god we pray for your protection oh god upon this virgin islands oh god protect every village oh god and every community oh father every neighborhood we bring under the covering of jesus we raise a prayer covering over every area oh god in the name of jesus and we ask for divine protection we ask for divine preservation and divine provision oh god we pray that you'll continue to minister to our governor you'll continue to minister to his cabinet in the name of jesus our doctors our nurses our health care providers and our frontliners oh god those who are at the forefront helping us oh god and putting things in place we pray for your protection upon their lives we pray for your preservation oh god in the name of jesus we ask that you would give them the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of knowledge and understanding standing oh god in their searching oh god in their research oh god and in, in their endeavor ring to help us oh god we pray in the name of jesus that our doctors and nurses will be safe oh god we will lose no one but everyone will be protected no harm and no danger will befall our people here in the name of jesus our ministers of the gospel oh god we raise a prayer covering over over them we reinforce the covenant of life the covenant of health and healing the covenant of victory the covenant of protection over them the covenant of provision and abundance and the covenant of grace and favor over all our pastors bishops apostles oh god and prophets prophetesses oh god oh and ministers in the name of jesus we cover them under the blood we cover them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet in the mighty and powerful name of jesus christ our lord our shepherd in jesus name we thank you for what you have done in the past and what you are going to do for us oh god you have never failed us you have never disappointed us before and we know oh god you will you will not fail us now so we exalt you we praise you we magnify you oh god in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless. This is Pastor Everine of Global Life Church, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We magnify your name for the women of God around this world. We thank you, Father God, for the women who are in ministry. We thank you for a hedge of protection round about them. We thank you, Father God, for women... For 
in our nation, in our countries, in our towns. We thank you, Father, for them taking this great responsibility to lead. I ask that you direct their steps. You lead, you guide, and you direct, and you protect them. We thank you, God, for mothers who have just been just doing an awesome job. We thank you, Father God, for those who oh, who are grandparents, Father God, who have taken on the, the role of, of, of raising their grandchildren. We ask, Father God, for your guidance, Father God, as you, they lead another generation, Father God, to come to know you. We thank you, God, for those who are Sunday school teachers, who are teachers, who are nurses, who are doctors, whatever position in life that they have. We thank you for the great responsibility that they have of taking care of their home, taking care of their loved ones and still going out on their jobs and doing an awesome job. We ask God for your direction over their life. We thank you, Father God, for bringing clarity into their lives. We thank you, Father God, for what you're doing in their lives. God, you're building them up in their most holy faith. You're you're expanding their vision, their goals, their, their dreams, their desires, Father God. You're helping them to see that they can be, Father, so much more. And so we ask in you right now that they will seek clearly and know father your the direction that you would have them to to go in that they wouldn't use this time as uh totally a time to just sit back and relax and and roll over and, and not know what to do but that they will just guard themselves up father god and march on plow forward for god pursue new dreams new new vision father god, that they'll continue to do that which they've been doing and father god that you will strengthen them father they will not lean on their own understanding but in all their ways they will acknowledge you because you promise to direct their path so father god right now we thank you that you're strengthening them father god you're leading them you're guiding them father so many times at night they go they go to bed and they're not sure what to do the next day but they're going to look to you look to you from whence come at their help knowing that their help coming from you lord god who has made the heavens and the earth you will not suffer their foot to be removed you said you do not sleep no you do not slumber so father god help them to run into your arms of safety help them to run into to your arms father god to be protected father god and to look to you to guide them to direct them and so we thank you for what you're doing in their lives and we ask father god that you continue father to just keep them in your will keep them father god many times they just don't know what to do but father god they will look to you and you will lead them and so we thank you father the many roles that they take father god they're, they're, they're numerous they're count, countless father god but father god we thank you for their strength they will look to you Draw from your strength, Father. Father, we thank you that it's not by their power nor their might, but by his, only by your power and your might, Father God. Nothing of their own, Father God. No strength of their own. We thank you, Father God, that their wisdom comes from you. And Father God, you will lead them. You will guide them. You will direct them, Father God. They will look to you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in all matters, Father God. Whatever they put their hands to, Father God, will prosper. Father God, we thank you, Father God, that increase comes to them now, Father God. We thank you for divine health. They walk in divine health. Father God, we thank you for the favor of God that's upon them right now. We thank you that they will not look to the left nor to the right, but they'll look to you because you're the author. You're the finisher of their faith, Father. And so we thank you right now. And we call them mighty, mighty women of God. We call them strong, Father. They'll be like the women in the Bible, Father God. They'll be the Esther's, Father God. Call into the kingdom for such a time as this, Father God. They'll be like Mary, Father God. Burton, Father God mighty men into this world father god they'll be like hannah father god praying father god until something happens father god they will not give up in prayer they'll be persistent father god they'll be like deborah father god a judge a mighty woman in the land father god a woman of influence father a woman that hears directly from you father god we thank you that they will honor you they will praise you they will give you glory they will give you honor in jesus name we thank you and we cover them right now with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is Pastor Franklin Connor, and I am the senior pastor uh, for Bethel Christian Fellowship Church, which is located up at uh, Alcoins Mall, Rappon Hill. Just be blessed as you listen to the prayers of the saints. We'll give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure forever. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, I approach your throne of grace uh, today, Father, just thanking you for all that you have done for us. Truly, you have been a faithful God. You have been good. You have been 
good to us, Father, dear. We don't have enough tongue to give you praise and to give you thanks. Father, today we come to you in the name of Jesus, just Lord God, giving you all the glory and all the praise for what you have done for us. Father, you have done so many things for us whereof our hearts have been made glad. Father, I thank you today that we can that I can join ministers all over the world praying for the needs of your people. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray even now, Lord God, that you look down upon us in mercy. Father, and as the, the Nehemiah prayed, he said, Father, forgive us of our sins, cleanse us. Even my father's house have sinned against you. So, Father, we pray to you right now, God, that you would forgive us and cleanse us from all our sins. And Father, I pray, even though as we are going through this time or this period in, 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 in the world today, this COVID uh, uh, that we are going through, Father, you are our great physician. You are our healer. You are our deliverer. And God, I pray for those who are suffering, those whose families have passed. I pray, Father, for that you'll speak peace to their lives. I pray, God, that they would overcome. Let them know that they are overcomers through Jesus Christ their Lord. Father, even for those who are sick, we pray for those who are in the hospital, Lord God, today. We pray for our nurses and our doctors who are uh, tending to our, our people who are sick. Father, I pray that you would bless them. Oh God, I pray that your anointing would rest upon them. Father, I pray that you would shield them from all harm and danger, Lord God, so that they would be able to attend to your people correctly. Father, today we pray for our nation. We pray for our president. Pray for our vice president today, Lord God, that you would cover him, Lord God, in every decision that he would make. Lord God, I pray that he would consult you and that he would ask your approval. Jesus, even I pray, even now for the our nation, our island of St. Thomas here in the Caribbean and all the Caribbean islands. Father, I pray that you'll give our leaders uh, the word, Lord God, so that they'll be able to speak peace to your people. Father, I pray, God, those who are not saved, I pray even now, God, that they will turn their lives to you and realize that they cannot do it except you are with them. Father, I pray that you'll comfort their hearts. I pray, God, that they would uh, run the race, oh God, that that's set before them. And even as believers, oh God, ministers of the gospel, oh God, we pray. To, I pray today, the Lord Jesus, that you would cover us with your anointing, cover us with your spirit, so God, we would be able to minister life to your people for you declare in your word that you are the light of the world and father because you are our light we realize that we can shine and that we can be the lights that you have called us to be in this earth so father today i pray that you would receive the glory and that you would receive the honor and that you would receive the praise from your people in the name of jesus for we shall not die but live and we shall declare uh, the glory of God, that God is good and his goodness he showed to us. So, Father, we give you thanks right now. In Jesus' name, with thanksgiving, amen. My name is Janice Connor, and I am the assistant pastor of Bethel Christian Fellowship Church. And it gives me great pleasure to join together with the men and women of God to pray. God has called us to pray. And at this time in our lives, we need to pray more than before. This is a time when men's hearts are failing them for fear because they do not know what tomorrow may bring. But none of us knows, but God knows. God is our dependable Father, and we can depend upon Him to take us through. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that we can approach your throne. Father, we know that we are insufficient within ourselves, but with you we can do all things. And today, Lord God, we come depending upon you who is our leader, our director, and our savior. We thank you today, Lord God, because you alone are God and there is no shadow of turning with you. You change not, Father. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So today, Lord God, we come on behalf of all your people everywhere, all over the world. We lift up our holy hands today to you, Lord God, looking unto the hills from whence cometh our help, because we know our help comes from you. Father, there is no shadow of turning with you. Father, we have failed you so many times, but Lord God, today we come confessing our sins and our faults before you. So Father, we ask today, Lord God, that you will renew a right mind within us, Lord. Renew a right spirit within us, God, so that Father, we can look to you and live. 
We thank you, Lord God, for your hand of protection upon your people all over this world. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that even though we are going through this pandemic right now, we know that you are watching over us. Some of us will die, but some of us will draw closer to you. So, Father, we just give you thanks and we give you praise because we know that from you comes our help. We can rest in you, Lord God, knowing that you are our Savior. You are our banner. You are the one who watches over us. You have promised that you will never leave us, neither will you forsake us. But you will be with us wherever we are and whatever we are doing, Lord God. You watch over us and you will protect us from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. So, Father God, we rest in you today, knowing that you, O oh God, you, Lord God, you are our protector, our leader, and you are our guide, Lord God. We rest in you today, Lord God, knowing that what you have begun, you are able to finish. For you are the Alpha and the Omega. Father, you're the lift of our heads. You love us so much, Lord God, that you sent your son to die for us. And because we are sons, God had sent down the spirit of the Lord into our hearts, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. So, Father, we look to you to do for us today what we cannot do for ourselves. And we give you praise and we give you thanks. For, Father, for you are God all by yourself. And, Lord God, we thank you today that as we join with ministers all over the world, lifting up holy hands and rejoicing in you, as we pray today, O oh God, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. And we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, my name is uh, David Moses Mudilom Sonda. I'm a dear friend of uh, Pastor Horo Hazel and his elder brother, Gladstone. In fact, they have adopted me in the family, and I'm right here in Zambia, my homeland. Yes, uh, with uh, Pastor and the church elder here. We just want to pray for you, and we haven't forgotten your generosity. I, I pray all the islands starting from totola apostle foy uh saint thomas uh, brother george phillips and uh, all the wonder friends there in uh, in in, in uh, saint croix the the assembly of god church there with uh, brother liger who is the interim pastor now I, we just want to pray for the government father we just want to pray for the governor brian the governor of the, the virgin islands that father this is a time for sound decision that god you just encourage our governor brian and we pray for all the legislators and all the senators and we pray that god just help our brother we we just want to say thank you for the love we have experienced each time we went to the caribbean it's like going back to africa we we can't forget the love of our brother now they are in need and we are here in africa we want to send prayers to all the islands, Lord God. We pray, oh God, for all the ministers. We pray, Father, for the for the governor, Lord God, and all the government officials. We pray, particularly for the health secretary, yeah, the, the commission of health, that Father, you help. And we pray even for those who are in the front line to fight coronavirus from the government. In Jesus' name, we bless Dr. Oro Hazel and this the church family there. In yeah. Jesus' name we pray. I'm Caroline Yui from Zambia. I'm, an, I'm a church elder. I'm going to pray for your country. Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We present the Virgin Islands before your holy throne. King of glory, we know you as the healer. We know you as the miracle worker. We know you as a wonder-waking God, and we know you as a God who can use one way to wipe away this coronavirus. We pray that Father King of Glory help the people in the Virgin Islands clear off this uh, coronavirus, we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray that Father, all the infected people in the Virgin Islands, we pray that God you heal them by the power of the blood of Jesus. We pray that you protect the Virgin Islands in Jesus' mighty name. We speak the blood of Jesus in the land, in the Virgin Islands, and we pray that, Father, let the angels fill the Virgin Islands, the healing angels, Lord, we pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. We know you love 
your children in the Virgin Islands, and we know they are in your hands. They are under your protection, King of Glory. We know that, God, when you are with them, no one can be against them. Lord, you are the great God. There is no one like you. It's only you, King of Glory. Father, we put all our dependence upon your holy name. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we say thank you. Amen. Uh, my name is Pastor Mkuka from uh, GTM Church, that is Good Tidings Ministries here in Zambia. I want to pray for you. Lord, I want to thank you. I want to bless you for you are so good. You are so wonderful to us, my Lord and my Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for you are a God who cares for us in Jesus' name. Yes, yes. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus for revival in this in this in virgin island in the name of jesus name. we need your hand lord god almighty father we pray for your mighty power to visit this virgin island in the name of jesus name. we depend upon you we trust in you for we know that you are the owner of the power in the name of jesus name. father we pray that king of glory let all be done in this virgin island in the name of jesus name. let your let my Lord and my Father, I pray that King of Glory, let your hand, King of Glory, do wonders in this country in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for you are a God who loves us. You are a God, King of Glory, who, do, who does wonders in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that King of Glory, let wonders flow in the Virgin Island in the name of Jesus. We pray for revival, revival, yes, a revival in this country in the name of Jesus. We bless you, we thank you, we uplift your holy name king of glory in the name of jesus we thank you we thank you lord for we know that king of glory you love this country in the name of jesus my lord and my father take full control let all be done in jesus name thank you lord thank you king of glory it's in the name of jesus we pray amen 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 this is a, a prayer from zambia here with pastor mkuka and elder and we just want to know that we love you and we're standing with you and God is about to turn around the situation Amen. in the island and is about to remove coronavirus Amen. from the planet Earth. and we just want to pray one more time for the governor God help the governor and we pray for President Trump in the mainland that God help the United States Amen. that father they will make the right decision and God we thank you that we decree and declare the Passover we are passing through yes. in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. it's a season to decree. We decree healing, Father. Yes, we decree Lord. with Apostle Oro and other Apostle in the land. We, we yes, decree Lord. it's a season, Father, for decree. We decree the removal of coronavirus. Yes, and we decree that revival is coming yes. to the island, Father. Yes, Big Lord. revival. A tsunami of your glory is coming. Amen. Multitudes will be yeah. swept. And when the churches are open, people, they will be lining up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Abba, Father, which art in heaven, O hallowed be thy name. For thy kingdom come and thine will be done. O Father God, I come, I come in this hour, Lord God, on this day that you've given us, O God. For this is the day that the Lord has made, O Father. And I pray, O God, hallelujah, that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts have been acceptable in this day that you've given us, O God. O Father, we come, we come today, O God, at giving you thanks and giving you praise, for you are worthy. You are worthy, Lord God, Almighty Father. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord Lord God, for who you've been in our lives, Lord God. We thank you for protecting us, God, and covering us and keeping us as only you can, Father God. We come, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, as you have instructed us, O oh God. O oh Father, we bless your holy and righteous name on this day, Lord God. Father, I come this afternoon, Lord God, praying for pastors, O oh God. Father, I thank you for pastors, O oh God, that they are your pastors who are faithful, Lord God. 
and that you preserve them, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that they abound, O oh God, with blessings all around them, God, and that they do not grow weary in their well-doing, O oh God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, O oh God, because you that begun a good work in them, O oh God, hallelujah, will perfect it, God, hallelujah, that they are, O oh God, your work, O oh God, your workmanship, O oh God, created in Christ Jesus, O oh God, and equipped for every good thing, O oh God, to do, O oh God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, O oh God, work in them, O oh God, that, that which is well-pleasing, O oh God, in your sight, O oh God, let all grace abound toward them, having sufficiency in all things, Father, and in abundance, O oh God, every good work, Father, because they have, O oh God, sowed bountifully, O oh God, that they will reap bountifully, O oh God, and whatever, O oh God, they plant, O oh God, or water further, O oh God, you give the increase in the name of Jesus, O oh God, as they go forth, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, lifting up your name, O oh God, you said, O oh God, hallelujah, Lord God, that you will draw all men unto them, O oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God, that they would continually triumph, O oh God, in Christ, O oh God, diffusing the fragrance of his knowledge in every place, O oh God, that all blessings will come upon them and overtake them, God, because they obey the voice of you, my Lord and Savior. Instruct them and teach them in the way that they should go, Father. Oh, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, let there be a revival, oh God, hallelujah, with deeper things of God, oh God, to them, oh God, by your spirit, oh God. Let them be vessels, oh God, of honor, Lord God, sanctified and sacrificing, oh God, unto you, Lord Jesus, oh God. I thank you, God, hallelujah, oh Lord Jesus, oh God, that they are shepherding the fo the fl their flocks, oh God, willingly and eagerly, oh God, hallelujah, and being an example to them, oh God, where their speech in, in their speech and their preaching, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, uh, by your power, Lord God, God, and under your might, oh God, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, every place, oh God, that the soles of their feet tread upon, oh God, has been, oh God, given to them, Lord Jesus, oh God, that they are strong, oh God, and, uh, and, and of good courage, oh God, for you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, Lord Jesus, that they wait on you, Father God, and they are strengthened by you, Father, help them, oh God, to set in order things, oh God, hallelujah, that are being lacked, oh God, and appoint the elders, oh God, oh God, in every city, Lord God, oh the Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I tear down the strongholds, oh God, over the pulpit, oh God, and lift up your pastors, oh God, oh Father, oh God, that sickness and disease, oh God, shall be in no way come near them, oh God, for they, oh God, are redeemed, oh God, from the curse of the law, oh God. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I say that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against them shall be shown, oh God, to be wrong in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, let the gifts, oh God, and the anointings, oh God, on their lives, oh God, come forth, oh God. Birth the things, oh God, that you have spoken, oh God, to them, oh God, in their hearts, in the name of Jesus, oh God. May they continuously give themselves to prayer, oh God, and ministering your word in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Now I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, for their families, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, place a hedge of protection around them, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, around their household, oh God, and all around, oh God, hallelujah, that, that they have on every side, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, oh God, that you, Father God, allow the angel of the Lord to encamp around them in the name of Jesus, Lord. I ask all of these things, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. I ask them for your glory. And it is in your mighty, your marvelous, and your matchless name that I do pray, praise, and give you thanks. Amen and amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you, Father God, humbling myself in your presence, thanking you for your goodness, your love, and your mercy. Father God, because you have been good. Father God, you have been a very present help in time of trouble. And Father God, you are calling on your people. According to Second Chronicles 7.14, you say, If your people who are called by your name will humble themselves and seek your face and turn from our wicked ways, 
You said then we will hear from heaven. You will forgive our sins and heal our land. Father God, we humble ourselves before you. We ask you, O oh God, to forgive us for the sins we have committed by thought, word, and deed. As we cry out to you, Lord God, our land needs to be healed. And Father God, you are the only one that can heal our lands. So we are petitioning you today, Father God, that you will pay attention. You will hear our cry as we call. Father God, this day, today we pray that all evil plots in the nation will be exposed by the mighty hand of Almighty God in the name of Jesus. All wicked plans and purposes will be exposed by God's light in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that you are rising up to pay attention to our cry. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, Father God, that all hidden information in China will be leaked by credible sources and whistleblowers will rise up and leak this information in the name of Jesus. We call on your Holy Spirit and he, Father God that he will go forth and fight on our behalf. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our leaders, our president, our governors, our senators, our legislators, that they, Father God, will humble themselves before the mighty hand of God and cry out to you for wisdom and understanding to lead this country with fear and reverence to God in the mighty name of Jesus help them to know and to realize they cannot do anything in their own strength they need to rely on you Father God because from you their help come oh God we come against this COVID-19 virus Lord God in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that it will wither and die and be eradicated from our land cover your people under your blood oh God because as you say in your word, when you see the blood of your Passover, pass over us, O oh God, pass over your people, pass over our nation, pass over our states, pass over our territories, pass over the world, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that you are moving by your spirit, by your power in and through our land, in and through our lives, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I come against all this conspiracy in our nation. Oh God, we decree and declare it will dissipate when it comes to this 5G, 5G issues, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. You know what the enemies are planning, Lord God, but you are the all-knowing God. Father God, we pray, Lord God, that you will stop the hand of the enemy in their trust. Expose what those who need to be exposed, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that signs, wonders, and miracles will manifest in this time, that they will come forth, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, you have given us this time, oh God, where we can come aside, where we can come and seek your face like never before, where we can draw closer to you. Father God, manifest your power in and through our lives as we continue to humble ourselves as we continue to seek your face like never before lord god in the name of jesus i call for revival i pray that your revival fire your revival fire will burst out in our nation will burst forth throughout the world lord god in the name of jesus let the revival fire ignite in our hearts and our lives father in the name of jesus i pray lord god that our leaders oh god will show true repentance us. Lord, they will call on your name and they will turn from their wicked ways. They will make a 180 degrees turn, Lord God, and will mean what they say and say what they mean. Father God, as we call on you, as we look to you, Father God, for this come of our help, we pray that you'll move by your power, you'll move by your spirit in and through our lives. I pray, Lord God, that your power will shake this nation, shake this nation like never before. Lord God, that souls will come into your kingdom in Jesus name we thank you dear Lord for your goodness and your mercy today we come to you in the precious and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Lord, we thank you for 
the dawning of this day. For this is the day that you have made. And we want to be glad and rejoice in it. So Father, as we rejoice in this day, recognizing today is National Day of Prayer, World Day of Prayer. And Father, we come to you today realizing the condition of the world, the situation that the world is in today with this world pandemic. But God, we thank you because you are still in control. You are in charge. For you have the whole world in your hand. So Father, as we come today, we come to you, God, seeking your face, turning from our wicked way. God, that we would hear from heaven so you can forgive our sins and you can heal our land. Oh God, our land need healing from this epidemic. Oh God, that have covered the world. So Father, we ask today that you will remember those that are sick with this virus. God, we ask that you would remember those that are infected we ask that you would remember our first responders who are at the front line god we ask that you would remember them and god we ask of your protection upon them their god oh god cover them with your blessing cover them with your love cover them with your peace their god Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we curse this epidemic, God, and we send it back to hell from whence it came, that it would dry up their God, and no one would be further infected, Lord. Oh, God, we pray for the peace of this world, God, we pray God, that your love would cover this world. Oh God, that men and women will realize the time in which we live. It is time to seek your face. Oh God, that they would recognize what you have said to this disciple when you was up on the mount and they came to you and asked you, what shall be the signs of your coming? And what shall be the signs of the end of the world? And God, you tell them that there would be pestilent, there would be wars, and there would be rumors of war. Children would be disobedient to parents. Oh, they would be unthankful and unholy. And God, we have seen all these things. And you said to the disciple, when you see these things, look up for your redemption, draw it nigh. So dear God, we are looking up to you, God, for we know that our redemption draw it nigh and we are living in the last of the last days. So dear God, we ask that your will be done in heaven. Let it be done on earth as it's done in heaven, dear God. Have your blessed way today. And I pray, God, that you would remember the world all over. God, remember the President of the United States. Oh, God, our different world leaders, dear God, that they would recognize that they can do it of themselves, but they need to seek the face of God. They need the direction of God and they would lift up their eyes onto the hill and recognize that their help cometh from thee which make the heaven and the earth oh god we thank you today oh father we thank you oh god we thank you for your love and we thank you for your peace bless us throughout this day and bless this world day of prayer oh god as a prayer go out throughout this land today we ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Amen.
I'm Gwen Bradley, and I represent the National Day of Prayer Task Force, and I serve as the National Area Leader of the Southeast. I cover the states of Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, South Carolina, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. I currently live in the city of Prattville, Alabama. Will you join me today in praying for the family? Father, we thank you for families. And we know that there's no institution in the culture that is facing more intense persecution than the family. But God, you made it clear in your word that families play a central role in disseminating the tenets of our faith to the next generation. So on this National Day of Prayer, we pray that you will extend and expand your glory through our families as we dwell in you. We pray that you strengthen marriages and that husbands and wives would remain faithful to you and to one another we pray that parents would love and nurture their children spiritually in your word in ways as well as lovingly providing for their physical emotional and their mental needs lord we pray that you would heal the wounds of abandonment and abuse that all people would know that they are love may every person live in the abundant life in divine destiny author and perfected according to your word lord we also want to pray for the safety of families and children during the covid 19 pandemic father we pray that you will intervene to stop the spread of covid 19 and that we will confidently put our trust in you you are a refuge in strength a very present help in trouble we pray for grieving families who have lost their loved ones to to COVID-19. God, that you would comfort them. And we, Lord, also pray for those that are adjusting, families who are adjusting to new ways of life. We ask that you guide people in their new realities, give spouses grace for each other, prompt worn out parents to speak words of kindness and encouragement to their children. Help the children find creative ways to experience the beauty of all you have created in continued learning. Lord, will you provide financially for those families who are facing financial stress? You are Jehovah Jireh, Lord God, our provider. And Lord, we do ask that each family will be filled with your glory as the waters cover the earth. Lord, we're thanking you for each family. May every family rise up and say, but as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Amen and amen. I'm Gwen Bradley and I represent the National Day of Prayer Task Force and I serve as the National Area Leader of the Southeast. I cover the states of Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, South Carolina, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. I currently live in the city of Prattville, Alabama. Will you join me today in praying for the family? Father, we thank you for families. And we know that there's no institution in the culture that is facing more intense persecution than the family. But God, you made it clear in your word that families play a central role in disseminating the tenets of our faith to the next generation. So on this National Day of Prayer, we pray that you will extend and expand your glory through our families as we dwell in you. We pray that you strengthen marriages and that husbands and wives would remain faithful to you and to one another we pray that parents would love and nurture their children spiritually in your word in ways as well as lovingly providing for their physical emotional and their mental needs lord we pray that you would heal the wounds of abandonment and abuse that all people would know that they are loved may every person live in the abundant life in divine destiny author and perfected according to your word lord we also want to pray for the safety of families and children during the covid 19 pandemic father we pray that you will intervene to stop the spread of covid 19 and that we will confidently put our trust in you you are a refuge in strength a very present help in trouble we pray for grieving families who have lost their loved ones to COVID-19. God, that you would comfort them. And we, Lord, also pray 
for those that are adjusting, families who are adjusting to new ways of life. We ask that you guide people in their new realities, give spouses grace for each other, prompt worn out parents to speak words of kindness and encouragement to their children, help the children find creative ways to experience the beauty of all you have created in continued learning. Lord, will you provide financially for those families who are facing financial stress? You are Jehovah Jireh, Lord God, our provider. And Lord, we do ask that each family will be filled with your glory as the waters cover the earth. Lord, we're thanking you for each family. May every family rise up and say, but as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Amen and amen. Greetings, fellow pastors and spiritual leaders and to everyone in the beautiful U.S. Virgin Islands. My name is Pastor Lachelle Ball and I'm a part of Kingdom Warriors Prayer Ministry under the fine leadership of Apostle Dr. Veronica Graham of Miami, Florida. It is indeed an honor and a privilege to join my faith with yours on this National Day of Prayer. The Bible tells us that one can chase a thousand and two can put ten thousand to flight. Let's look unto the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the precious and in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I give you praise, glory, and honor, for you are worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, your name is worthy to be praised. We are thankful, we are grateful for all your bountiful blessings. Thank you, Father, that you have preserved us, you have kept us alive through your great grace and tender mercies as i come before you even now heavenly father i ask that you will hear the prayers of your humble servants we thank you lord god for all of those who are praying on this national day of prayer and father your word tells us that men shall always pray and not faint your word tells us father that we're not to fret or have any anxiety about anything but in every circumstance and in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to let our requests be made known unto you so first of all heavenly father i ask that you would forgive us of our sins our iniquities and our transgressions for surely father we have all sinned and fallen short of your glory so father i ask that you would forgive us O lord for we have strayed away from your precepts your statutes and your commandments so forgive us O lord for our rebellion and for the hardness of our hearts. Lord, you are the God who keeps covenant and mercy to those that love you. You are gracious and you are merciful. And it's not your will that any perish, Father, but that they come to repentance. So, Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would touch the hearts of everyone, God, that will be hearing these prayers, that they would cry out to you, Lord God, in repentance and turn from every evil and wicked way. Father, you said if we confess our sins, that you are faithful and you are just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Your word declares of your people that are called by your name will humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways. You said, then will you hear from heaven and you will forgive our sins and you will heal our land. So, Father, I pray we would walk in obedience, hallelujah, to your word. And Father God, I thank you and pray you for our spiritual leaders. I thank you for all those whom you have set in the body as you have desired. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, for the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, the bishops, the elders, the deacons. Lord God, all those who are in leadership in the body of Christ. Lord God, I pray that you would empower them with the spirit of wisdom, with the spirit of counsel, with the spirit of might. Lord God, I pray, Father, that they would walk worthy. Hallelujah of their calling in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray, Father, that they would serve your people with gladness in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord God, I just thank you and praise you for blessing them, for keeping them, for supplying their every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And Lord God, I thank you for the saints of the, of the Most High God. I pray for my fellow brothers and sisters in the faith. Lord God, I pray that we would be bold, we would be strong, and 
and we would be courageous in this hour. Lord God, even in the midst of trials and testings, hallelujah, and difficulties, Lord God, that we would continue to look unto you for you are the author and you are the finisher of our faith and your word declares you will perfect that which concerns us, oh Lord God. And Lord, I thank you that nothing shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, but that we would stand strong, we would stand bold, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Father God, for our political leaders. Lord God, I cry out for our president. I cry out, Lord God, for prime ministers. I cry out for those who are head of states and nations in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for our local leaders, our national leaders in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I pray, Father God, that they would be servants, Lord God, and they would exercise justice and judgment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I pray that they would lead, Father, with moral courage and with boldness, Lord God. Father, your word says the heart of the king is in your hand and you turn it wheresoever you desire. Lord God, I pray that you would turn their hearts, hallelujah, unto you, unto righteousness, to your word and to your truth, Lord God. And Father God, those who would not, hallelujah, do what you have commanded them to do, hallelujah, I pray that you would remove them out of their offices in the mighty name of Jesus and put in those who have the heart, hallelujah, of the people, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, I thank you. Hallelujah, 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 glory be to God, glory, 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 Lord, we give you glory, Lord, glory be to God, glory be to Jesus, glory be to the Holy Spirit, Father, we worship you, we exalt you, we lift up your name, we magnify your name, O God, because you are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to receive glory. You are worthy to receive praise. You are worthy to receive honor. All power belongs to you. All power originates with you, O oh God. You are the creator of the universe. You are the most high God. You are the awesome God. The beginning and the end. You are the first and the last. The one who was and the one who is to come, O oh God. We worship you today, the possessor of heaven and earth, O oh God. You are the great I am, the everlasting Father, the King of glory hallelujah hallelujah to you father hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord glory be to god glory be to god in the highest glory be to jesus our savior our redeemer our lord our master our soon coming king our sustainer, our upholder, our healer, and our deliverer, Holy Spirit, you are our comforter, you are our comforter, you are our teacher, you are our guide, console our hearts, comfort our hearts as we look to you in prayer, as we exalt the name of Jesus, as we lift up the name of Jesus, what a lovely name, the name of Jesus, there is no other name given under heaven, whereby men must be saved, but only by the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks today, O oh God, for St. Thomas, O oh God. I cover the territory in the name of Jesus. We cover the entire Virgin Island, St. Thomas, St. Croix, St. John's, and Water Island. We cover these islands under the blood of Jesus and we decree and we declare no evil shall befall us here no evil shall befall us and no plague shall come nigh our dwelling place for your angels have been given charge over us oh God we thank you because you are able to keep us unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us blameless hallelujah we thank you oh God that we are confident that what you are 
have started in us oh god you are well able to complete it for you are well able god you are the able god our god is our source you are the source of life oh god you are our very life oh god and by you all things consist hallelujah you are before all things and for your pleasure were all things created oh god you are worthy and so we exalt you in this time oh god of this coronavirus lord we know that you are in control you are the one who goes before us you are the one who goes ahead of us oh god and your word declares when you see the blood you will pass over us so we thank you and we praise you oh god that your eyes are upon us even as your eyes are upon the sparrow oh god we pray for your protection oh god upon this virgin islands oh god protect every village oh god and every community oh father every neighborhood we bring under the covering of jesus we raise a prayer covering over every area oh god in the name of jesus and we ask for divine protection we ask for divine preservation and divine provision oh god we pray that you'll continue to minister minister to our governor you'll continue to minister to his cabinet in the name of jesus our doctors our nurses our health care providers and our frontliners oh god those who are at the forefront helping us oh god and putting things in place we pray for your protection upon their lives we pray for your preservation oh god in the name of jesus we ask that you would give them the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of knowledge and understanding standing oh god in their searching oh god in their research oh god and in, in their endeavor to help us oh god we pray in the name of jesus that our doctors and nurses will be safe oh god we will lose no one but everyone will be protected no harm and no danger will befall our people here in the name of jesus our ministers of the gospel oh god we raise a prayer covering over over them we reinforce the covenant of life the covenant of health and healing the covenant of victory the covenant of protection over them the covenant of provision and abundance and the covenant of grace and favor over all our pastors bishops apostles oh god and prophets prophetesses oh god oh and ministers in the name of jesus we cover them under the blood we cover them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet in the mighty and powerful name of jesus christ our lord our shepherd in jesus name we thank you for what you have done in the past and what you are going to do for us oh god you have never failed us you have never disappointed us before and we know oh god you will you will not fail us now so we exalt you we praise you we magnify you oh god in Jesus' precious name we pray amen and amen god bless oh give thanks unto the lord for he is good for his mercies endure it forever father in the name of jesus christ your son i approach your throne of grace uh today father just thanking you for all that you have done for us truly you have been a faithful god you have been good you have been good to us father dear we don't have enough tongue to give you praise and to give you thanks father today we come to you in the name of jesus just lord god giving you all the glory and all the praise for what you have done for us father you have done so many things for us whereof our hearts have been made glad father i thank you today that we can that i can join ministers all over the world praying for the needs of your people father in the name of jesus we pray even now lord god that you look down upon us in mercy father and as the, the nehemiah prayed he said father forgive us of our sins cleanse us even my father's house have sinned against you so father we pray to you right now god that you would forgive us and cleanse us from all our sins and father i pray even though as we are going through this time or this period in in in, in the world today this COVID. Uh, uh, that we are going through father you are our great physician you are our healer you are our deliverer and God I pray for those who are suffering those 
people's families have passed i pray father for that you'll speak peace to their lives i pray god that they would overcome let them know that they are overcomers through jesus christ their lord father even for those who are sick we pray for those who are in the hospital lord god today we pray for our nurses and our doctors who are uh, tending to our, our people who are sick father i pray that you would bless them oh god i pray that your anointing would rest upon them father i pray that you would shield them from all harm and danger lord god so that they would be able to attend to your people correctly father today we pray for our nation we pray for our president pray for our vice president today lord god that you would cover him lord god and every decision that he would make lord god i pray that he would consult you and that he would ask your approval jesus even i pray even now for the our nation our island of saint thomas here in the caribbean and all the caribbean islands father i pray that you would give our leaders uh the word lord god so that they'll be able to speak peace to your people father i pray god those who are not saved i pray even now god that they would turn their lives to you and realize that they cannot do it except you are with them father i pray that you'll comfort their hearts i pray god that they would uh, run the race oh god that has set before them and even as believers oh god ministers of the gospel oh god we pray to i pray today the lord jesus that you would cover us with your anointing cover us with your spirit so god we would be able to minister life to your people for you declare in your word that you are the light of the world and father because you are our light we realize that we can shine and that we can be the light that you have called us to be in this earth so father today i pray that you would receive the glory and that you would receive the honor and that you would receive the praise from your people in the name of jesus for we shall not die but live and we shall declare uh, the glory of god that god is good and his goodness he showed to us so father we give you thanks right now in jesus name with thanksgiving amen and amen and amen Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that we can approach your throne. Father, we know that we are insufficient within ourselves, but with you we can do all things. And today, Lord God, we come depending upon you who is our leader, our director, and our savior. We thank you today, Lord God, because you alone are God and there is no shadow of turning with you. You change not, Father. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So today, Lord God, we come on behalf of all your people everywhere, all over the world. We lift up our holy hands today to you, Lord God, looking unto the hills from whence cometh our help, because we know our help comes from you. Father, there is no shadow of turning with you. Father, we have failed you so many times, but Lord God, today we come confessing our sins and our faults before you. So, Father, we ask today, Lord God, that you will renew a right mind within us, Lord. Renew a right spirit within us, God, so that, Father, we can look to you and live. We thank you, Lord God, for your hand of protection upon your people all over this world. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that even though we are going through this pandemic right now, we know that you are watching over us. Some of us will die, but some of us will draw closer to you. So, Father, we just give you thanks and we give you praise because we know that from you comes our help. We can rest in you, Lord God, knowing that you are our Savior. You are our banner. You are the one who watches over us. You have promised that you will never leave us, neither will you forsake us. But you will be with us wherever we are and whatever we are doing, Lord God. You watches over us and you will protect us from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. So Father God, we rest in you today, knowing that you, O oh God, you, Lord God, you are our protector, our leader, and you are our guide, Lord God. We rest in you today, Lord God, knowing that what you have begun, you are able to finish. For you are the Alpha and the Omega. Father, you're the lift of our heads. You love us so much, Lord God, that you sent your son to die for us. And because we are sons, God had sent down the spirit of the Lord into our hearts, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. 
So, Father, we look to you to do for us today what we cannot do for ourselves. And we give you praise and we give you thanks. For, Father, for you are God all by yourself. And, Lord God, we thank you today that as we join with ministers all over the world, lifting up holy hands and rejoicing in you, as we pray today, O oh God, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. And we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Good day. My name is Pastor Sonia Hazel of Christian Fellowship Ministry Center. Dear Heavenly Father, I bring our grandchildren to you. May they seek you more now than ever. I pray for their well-being and that you look over them. Help them to realize that you are looking out for their best interest. Help them to understand that as we leave, they must become standard bearers. In June 1, 3, the other part says, I pray that our grandchildren will earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto them. May they keep the godly principles that was taught by their forefathers. As they prosper, help them not to forget the God of their fathers. May they not be polluted by the world around them and by the doctrines of men and of demons. Let them be salt, let them be salt and light in this world. Thank you, Father, that they, they are the leaders of tomorrow. Tomorrow. Elevate them in the marketplace, elevate them in government and law, elevate them in media and entertainment, and elevate them in spirituality. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.